Hey guys, fishing and stuff. Today, we're gonna turn this into this. So stick around. Today, we're customizing our own reel. I'm taking an old Abu Garcia that I got. It's actually a 5500, and I know most people use 6500s, but I'm just showing you the technique on an old reel. And a small disclaimer, I wouldn't do these to my new nice reels. It's just if you got some old scratched up reels laying around, this can make them look new again, but I wouldn't replace the original factory finish with it. That's just me. I did a video a couple of years ago where I took high grade automotive paint and I had a couple of Abu C3s and I took them apart and painted them with the automotive paint. And it turned out really good, but I wanted to do a video to where you don't need a spray gun and you don't need the skill of painting or a mask. <laughs> Basically, I wanted something simpler that anybody could do. But you'll see how it turns out. So let's get started on it. Now, as far as my round reels go, I use mostly Abu's. Everybody has their own opinion about reels, but I like Abu's and they're easy to get parts for. And we're getting parts for a reel comes into play. Like this reel's three, four years old. I really hadn't needed any parts for it. I'm not sure how old this one is. This reel is 15 years old. This reel here is pretty dang old. It looks like a 6500, but if you look closer, this is a 6000. It's a pretty dang old reel, and it still works good because you can get parts for it. This reel here, people ask me about the durability of the paint. I used the automotive brand paint, and it turned out good and it's strong. But as far as durability, I really don't know because I hadn't used them a whole lot. On today's video, I'm using a reel that looks like a Pro Rocket, but it's actually a 5500. And this reel was made in the 60s, so it's the real thing. It's not a Pro Rocket. It's just an old reel. And all we really need from this reel is the side blades. So the first thing we need to do is disassemble this reel. Disassembling an Abu is really simple. See these three screws right here? You take these out and that'll take one side plate off. Then we'll have to remove the brake cap. On the other side, it's got three flathead, kind of like bolts, but you take them off and the whole thing will come off. Then you have to remove the handle and the drag star and the brake cap and it'll all come apart. It's not very hard to take apart. I wanted to take these bolts out so they don't get in the way when I hydro dip. The end of these things are flared out, so I just took my pliers and mashed them back flat. And when I'm done, I'll put them in and I'll open them back up so they'll stay in there. So don't worry, I didn't break it. Okay, so we got the whole thing took apart now, and it's not as near complicated as it looks laying on this table in 100 pieces. I mean, basically this part goes in here the two bolts hold it in then you got your frame your spool the star drag and the handles all part of the same thing this little gear here that drives your worm gear is the only thing in this side but the next thing we need to do is prep our side plates this one here is in pretty good shape but it's got that sticker on it that sticker right there proves this thing is old it says high speed <laughs> this side plate here is kind of chewed up a little bit and down on the bottom it's really chewed up so i'm gonna have to take some kind of fine grit sandpaper and smooth this thing out so i got some 220 grit sandpaper i got some steel wool these are like a triple out which i think is really fine and i got some scotch bright and scotch bright comes in different grits as well but i'm gonna use these right here to smooth out my side plates
Now that I got these sanded off real good, if I move in close, you can still see imperfections. But if you rub your finger across it, you can't feel them anymore. And that's what's important. We just want it nice and smooth. But next, I'm gonna take some acetone and we're gonna wipe these side plates down. Now, something that's really important, everything on these side plates that we don't want painted or we don't want hydro dipped, we're gonna have to tape it up and we're gonna have to be neat about it so that the hydro dip can touch the parts that we do want hydro dipped. So be very precise with your taping. Now we got our side plate staked off. Take you an X-Acto knife and go around the parts. I mean, be real detailed because whatever's covered up is not going to be painted and you don't want to be sloppy on this step. Now we need to talk about how we're going to hydro dip these. These right here, they're ink sheets. And this is how you really hydro dip. I mean, we're not using the spray paint type. We're using the real thing. And you take these ink sheets and you float them on the water and you have to have an activator. And doing the real hydro dip, it's not as expensive as you would think, but it's labor intensive. I mean, the labor part comes in with doing all this prep work. But all you do is take one of these ink sheets, lay it on the water, you hit it with the activator and it basically turns these ink sheets into liquid. We'll go over this in a little bit. These are just different colors of ink sheets. This ink sheet right here is a fire pattern. You can see the flames in it. And it's really not that attractive, but it's because it's on a dark surface. Because a very important step in this process is your base coat. Whatever color you're putting it on really does matter. This pattern don't look that good. If I take a white piece of paper and I slide under it, you see the difference? looks like fire now and you can see over here where the white paper is not it's not that pretty so the base coat is really important on this step we're not using this ink sheet i'm gonna do these reels blue i don't know i kind of like the fire though but anyway the next step we need to do is we got to paint a base coat on our reel covers because if we don't it ain't gonna pop like this oh and something else i should have mentioned when you tape the back of your side plates I like to leave a flat. That way I have something to hold on to when I'm working with them. Makes it a lot more convenient. And if you got a piece of PVC laying around, just cut you a couple pieces off with your PVC cutters. That way you can set your end caps on it and they ain't touching nothing and you can get a lot nicer paint job. The next thing you're gonna need is one of these plastic storage bins and buy a cheap one. It don't have to be fancy. I think I paid $6 for this one. And then you're gonna have to fill it up with water. Now on this particular ink sheet, you can tell the back from the front. The back is gonna be your sticky side and you need to make sure you put it on correctly. All right, so we got our tub full of water and we got our side plates painted and they look pretty dang good. Now we just need to dip it. Look guys, if you ain't been on my channel before, I do a lot of DIYs. That's the main thing I do on here. So go over and check out my channel page. I got a long list of DIYs. I'm sure there's something you're going to like on it. And don't forget to subscribe. Click subscribe, people. What you waiting on? What you waiting on? So what you want to do is cut you a piece of ink sheet off big enough for the reel. You might want to make it just a little bit bigger so you don't mess up on it. Now before you dip your side plate, you can practice. I took the lid off of the activator and I tried it to make sure it's going to work. And it holds pretty good. When you drop the ink sheet into the water, just lay it on there. You want to put the sticky side up. If you need to readjust it, you can actually touch it with your finger and move it around. But you can see it start to hydrate. It'll start soaking up the water. And when it gets finished, 
then spray it with the activator, and then dip the side plate through it very slow. Well, now that we got them hydro dipped, we're gonna have to let them dry and then we're gonna have to clear coat them. Okay, so we hydro dipped them, now they dry. Next, we're gonna have to take a razor blade or an X Acto knife. We're gonna wanna cut around the tape that we put on it so when we pull off our tape, it don't pull off our ink sheet. It cracked up a little bit in the corners, but hopefully it'll still look good. That's probably from overspray on the activator. <laughs> In my opinion, these covers turned out pretty dang good. But like I said before, the only problem is there's a little white in certain places where the ink sheet didn't take right. So I'm just going to take some acrylic black paint. But I'm going to paint over this white and just darken it up so you don't notice it. And then I'm going to clear coat these reels. <laughs> But before we move on to the clear coat, we're going to have to tape it up again. The main thing is make sure you tape up your brake caps. You can clear coat aluminum and it'll stick to it. But the brake caps have O-rings on them. Make sure you tape those up. And this here is what I'm using. It's a clear coat I got from Advanced Auto. And it's supposed to dry a lot harder than most clear coats. I don't know. We'll find out. It says uh, UV protection gasoline resistant and scratch resistant but we'll see i'm gonna spray these reels in a couple of coats i'll put a light coat on it then i'll go back and put another coat on it Now I just got to put this thing back together because as you can see, it's a dang mess. Okay, so I pretty much got this thing put back together, but I'm not going to use the old handle. I'm going to put a new handle on it. Well, that reel turned out awesome. It looks beautiful. I really do like the way it turned out. I just recently hit 100,000 subscribers, and you know what that means. I'm gonna be giving away that cutting board. It'll be another week or so because I'm going to Catfish Clothing Company, and I got something special planned. I'm gonna be giving away more than the cutting board. So watch out for that video. And while you're at it, don't forget to click subscribe and click the bell so you can watch out for all my videos. And as always, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the next bill.